at the end of the year, the, the, the sort of the interview that everybody talks about, mm -hmm. was that born out of frustration? Or, for me as a Newcastle fan, you're looking at it and thinking, oh, we've got a manager here that mm. confirmed, loves this club, mm. loves it. And it's just, yeah. loves to win that, that, that yeah. the sort of golden goose. Yeah, I think where Alex Ferguson annoyed me, it wasn't anything to do about Newcastle. Yeah. It was about the football. He, he more or less said that other teams wouldn't try as hard against us yeah. as they would against Man United. Mm. You know, now you call it mind games, call it what you want, but it, it, it goes beyond football. That it's, it's insinuating in my mind that teams won't try mm. and they'll throw games. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen in England. Mm. I mean, we went to Notts Forest and, you know, Ian Wold, who I saw the other week, says. <laughs> He said, that goal I scored, you know, I didn't even know whether I wanted to go in or not. Yeah. You know, I get that. Mm. You know, I get that. But, um, y y you know, at times, it's hard to go after a match. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we'd won that match at Leeds, by the way, when I did that interview. Yeah. So I wasn't talking about... But I had the cans on, and I didn't realise at the time how loud I was shouting. Oh, sure. I mean, we laugh at it now. My kids, I'll go. My, my son-in-law bought me, because he's a Man United support, bought me a Man United shirt with... I'd love it on the oh, back, yeah. you know. I mean, which is a terrible way to start a relationship. <laughs> if you want us to get on the better side of me. But, you know what I mean? You have to look at it and say, it was part of that season and the emotions of that season and a roller coaster ride. You know, the 4-3 at Liverpool. Yeah. Things like that, that you look back on and you think, wow, if only. If only. But, but, you know, you can't have if onlys in football.